Hi. Hello. We are here. We are here. <laughs> Surprise. Yes. We have a lower third. Well done. We've got a lower third with, with a sphere behind it. If oh. you do you see that? Oh, I do that see ugly the weird yeah. thing. Yeah, I do yeah, see yeah. The um, yeah. Very current, cool. Current, current sphere. Yeah. So we're at our booth at NAB 2024. This is again. It's always a bit last minute. We yep. we have to do it while we're talking to people and setting up. Uh, so we don't really know how everything is going. We should have put that up on the NDI on a monitor or something. Oh, there. it's okay. Uh, we'll so it. we kind of yeah. we're looking to our right to see our laptop that's set up uh, with the with VMix. So mm. yeah. Uh, yep. Welcome. Welcome. Yep, so NAB, uh, NAB 2024, um, we're in a booth shared with a heap of cool guys in the live streaming sector, including people from XKeys that you'll hear from a little bit later, and from Central Control that you hear a little bit later. Uh, who else shares our booth? We've got... Oh, um, stuff in our booth. We have an OpsBot, we have yep, Insta360 an Link, Insta360. StreamDex. Uh, Actually, let's look at the show XKeys Control, or, yeah. sure. Yeah. Is there a button? Oh, there's a there button There is a button here. for there it. There we go. Yeah. Now this is, we're actually, I had to point this out, we are streaming at a magical <laughs> frame rate today. The 27.97 is the new frame rate for everybody to start using. Okay, uh, all right, we, to stop the confusion, no, I made a typo last night when I was typing this up and it's meant to be 29.97, yeah, okay everyone? So we, no. We did this very We're going out at 29.97, not 27.97. Um, yeah. yeah, so it is only 7.20 today. Yes, uh, We're streaming yes. at AV1 at 1.5 megabit. We, we've yep. supposed to have 10 megabit dedicated, but it is definitely not that. It is not achieving that whatsoever. At all. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, But again, that is why we've got AV1. We should have a very high quality 720 stream if it's, if it's working okay. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. So, so that's kind of yeah. what we're doing. We're using this laptop that I bought from Best Buy. Yep. Uh, we have a stream deck and we have a couple of uh, Rode microphones. Insta360 Link, which we might switch to. Yeah, I yeah, don't know. yeah, yeah. Which Let's one cut to is it. that? Uh, Everybody ready? Uh, you might be on a show just letting you know that uh, what do we got is it this one? Oh, that's that oh. one then oh uh, yeah that's the insta360 yep. link and this is the hello yep and, that's and that the... is our wireless obsbot tail air okay. that is running wirelessly so if you see a couple of frame drops that's yeah. because it is running wirelessly and extremely congested here uh, <laughs> yes so that that was our show setup um, and here is a terrible video that i made with a camcorder So I am here with X Keys now, and I am with Maggie and Amber. Oh, and I've got the title back to front, so if you guys could just... Yeah, yeah. That's just yeah. Uh, there we go. Much better with Maggie <laughs> and Amber. Um, these guys from X Keys, what have you guys gotten up to lately? Oh, you know, we're just having fun at NAB 2024, showing off some of our new stuff in their booth, so... What's what's the new hot thing that so we should new, know about? So the new, literally the hot thing, uh, we have a a whole range of XBE series X keys now, full RGB backlit, aluminum enclosures, tilted, angled, it's just, they're beautiful. 
Nice. Yeah, yeah very, very cool. Um, so, apart from vMix, what could you use an X-Keys controller with? Oh, geez, anything in everything. this room. Anything and everything. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can program any kind of hotkeys, shortcuts, macros. I personally use mine for like Adobe Illustrator, and it's great for all those uh, shortcuts. But you can use it for any kind of everyday office use, but you can also do live streaming with yeah, it. Live Obviously, stream. vMix has this integrated in, so yeah. lots of good things. Cool, cool. Um, now, I know that our development team are currently trying to get all of your color things working yes. with our activators, yes. so look out for that, guys. Yes, I, and I'm that pretty was sure that also, won't be long. That was on us as well. We definitely launched these. We were very excited. Nice and we were very well, we excited. to get them out for NAB, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 we appreciate yeah. you guys, though, big so, time. So while the colors might not work in vMix just yet, it probably won't be long. I actually walked past the dev team before I left for NAB, nice. and they were at it. So Excellent. hopefully it won't be long there. Yeah. That's just great. All right, well, um, thank you very much for coming yeah, on. Thanks um, for having I'm going to call on my next guest, which is Joe DeMax. All so right. See if you can, <laughs> Excellent. You can scoot around and <laughs> let's see how we go. Um, All right. And I'll Maybe let you guys way. out. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Trade you. All right. Thank you. Okay, we can turn that title off, can't we? And grab a seat. Oh, smooth. <laughs> So smooth, seamless, seamless. All right, let's put your title up and I'll lean out of the way for a sec. And you lean in, you lean in. Yeah, perfect. There we Centered. go. Centered, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got Joe here from Central Control. Hi, Joe. Hello, Heath. Pleasure to be here yes. again in the dying minutes of NAB 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've only got, what, 45 minutes left before the show ends. So we're all pretty worn out, but it's been a fun time. What have you got to show us? We've got two things. Okay. First one is yes. a show and tell. I've brought show it and tell. with me. Oh. So this is a new product with us and X Keys. Okay. And would you believe it? A collaboration. It's a collaboration, <laughs> if you like. It's got central control built right into the unit. So there's a right. small embedded system in this unit running central control, log in via a web browser, configure it, and then it's yep. completely standalone. So, so it's got like a tiny processor in it. Yep. Yeah, that's very cool. Yep. That is very cool. All right. Nice. Uh, what sort of what sort of products can you? Uh, it's almost impossible for me to ask this question because the answer is <laughs> everything. But yep. what what does it work with? VMix, fully featured VMix module, mm -hmm. uh, other replay systems, switches, yep. lighting consoles, audio mixers, Microsoft PowerPoint. Oh, the list how goes heavy. on and on. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to have one of those for Microsoft yeah. PowerPoint. Of course you would. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Okay. And did you say there was a second thing? There is another thing. Yeah. Um, we've taken NDI. Mm -hmm. We're not using it for video. We're not using it for audio. We're now using right. it as a method to link separate instances of central control. So oh, okay. let's say you've got a cloud production. Yes. I'm sure a lot of vMix users watching have cloud production. They could. Yep. You've got an X keys on your desk. Yep. It will take it, convert it into NDI. Yes. And then you can receive it in the cloud as if it was on your desk over NDI Bridge. Fantastic. Wire nice. all up. Yep. Okay. All right. So NDI Bridge is a way of connecting to NDI networks, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Over, yep. over one. Yep. Yeah. Right. Oh, fantastic. Well, that's very cool. Thank you for coming on, Joe. Thank you for your time. Um, Pleasure to be uh, here again. There might be some questions a little bit later. And if there's any shout outs to you guys um, or any questions that are directed to the guys that have come on the show, we'll try and get them back in to just uh, lean in and see if we can get an answer. We'll see. But I think it's time to go to questions. So, oh, sorry, I've, I've jumped ahead. Tim's going to jump in and he's going to show us something that he found while he was on the show. All right, once again, completely seamless. Let me turn Joe off. There we go. All right. Put us back up. There we are. So I went around the booths and tried to find the largest camera that I possibly could, and I think that, I, that was I, your only goal. That was my only largest goal, and PTZ? I think I found it. Yeah. So obviously, there's a lot of PTZ manufacturers out uh, at NAB. Telecam are a camera company that we've had contact with for quite a while mm. and had really good things. Like you, you've got one, haven't you? you use it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we use one at our church. We've got um, we've got a handful of them in this in the office that we use for testing. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, and sorry, someone's just everything all right with the camera? Oh yeah. Okay. All okay. oh, right. Ah, oh, it's it's fine. 
This is it here. All right, so uh, <laughs> Telecam, they've, they've just got new... Yeah, I'll see if I can help. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's heavy. Oh. It is dead set. It's heavy. All right, cool. It's a giant camera. It uh, is a beast. So this is the Explore SE, and I think it's $3,000 US. It has a 30 times optical zoom, 4K 60, 12G SDI. Uh, it supports NDI, NDIHX at the same time. Uh, it does SRT, uh, supports Visco over IP for control and that type of thing. So Telecam have kind of... They're, they're a company that kind of had retail, but not really, but they've just, uh, I think, organized a deal with an American uh, like distributor. So they should be available in more retail areas over the next couple of months. So we've had like great success with these particular cameras, like with, with Telecam. So I thought I'd bring them on just to, to show people um, they're, they're another sort of affordable option. They do have smaller ones as well. This has got a one, one by one point. One over 1.8 one yes. yeah, inch it. sensor. But yep. they also have this giant one, which is the same size, but they have a, a like a one-inch sensor on that. Oh, um, fantastic! I think that's Six thousand yeah. dollars. But um, yeah, that's a that's a. How, how much was this one? Do you this remember? Three thousand dollars. Three thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, it's it's getting close to equivalent to some of the big end competitors that might be ten k plus. Yeah. So yeah. that's so it's, insane. For three grand, it's got a lot of yeah. lot of cool features. Um, yep. It's got auto tracking and all that kind of stuff as well. Yep. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would because we we cool. like I said we've had them in the past. But they've been difficult to buy. Yeah. Um, and now yeah. that they've kind of got distribution with yeah, that's good. MVD over here, um, that they'll be able to kind of cool. potentially get more more retail options for that camera for anybody that's looking for an, another PTZ uh, option for um, whatever they're doing. One of the other cameras you've just you just sparked my memory. Okay. Um, Panasonic UE160. It's their latest big PTZ. It's a it's a monster and it's pretty pricey, but it does something that I haven't seen from any high-end PTZs before, and that's 1080p 120. So you wow. could use it for sports. Yeah. Um, it does it over 12G SDI and it's two cables to do it. So you're going to need a very special capture card. So if you're interested in doing that sort of stuff and you've got the pockets to buy a Panasonic UE160, reach out to us and we can probably give you some pointers on how to get that working in vMix. We haven't tested it for ourselves just yet. Uh, hopefully we will get a chance at some point, but I'm reasonably confident that it will work. So yeah. Just thought I'd let you guys know that's a pretty cool new device. All right, I'll I have to throw up the you questions. Go to the social? Yeah. Yeah. Do we have? We don't have a social video, do we? Nope. We okay. don't have a social video. All right. No, so we're I'll going throw straight up in. some. I'll throw up some questions for you. I'll, I'll read them you and just have put to them pop up, them. Oh, okay. and then you can all answer right. them. How's that right. sound? It's going to be a bit manual today. Um, all right. So here we go. Uh, go for it. NDI six when. Oh, okay, so NDI6, not immediately. We're going to wait for it to sort out some of the issues that might pop up in these early days of NDI6. We typically do this. We typically wait a little while before implementing a new M NDI release. And the other thing to note is NDI6 has a few features such as HDR support and um, what was it? Was it something like... Oh, there's one other feature that, that while ultimately... Um, you'll be able to use NDI 6 in vMix, you won't necessarily have access to those features. So just bear that in mind, um, HDR being one of those. Uh, if okay. you do need to install NDI 6 to work with some hardware out there that is NDI 6 supported and won't work in older versions, then it is possible to manually upgrade to NDI 6 within vMix. Uh, you're not gonna pick up any, like, brand new features that vMix doesn't already support, but you will be able to tap into those devices on the network that are NDI 6. Alrighty, um, it's nice to see that this that on-site struggle is real when <laughs> doing a live show, yeah, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, all the time. Absolutely, um, All the time. <laughs> any hints about version 28? Um, not at the moment. No, no um, hints at all, guys. Uh, no. I talked to, I think I talked to John the other day okay. about his laptop. He, I think he got it worked out. Right. Uh, that oh, was the one was with the really weird The BIOS. Dell laptop. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That, he yeah. came and saw me after as well. Yeah, yeah, there was like a double issue with the way that it was working with the Optimus or actually yep. with using the discrete graphics. There was two ways yeah. that you had to turn it off and if, it was it, kind of strange. If really. you have a Dell laptop and you are currently having any issues with performance in vMix that you think 
just doesn't seem quite right, um, it, maybe reach out to us. We've got some tips now. In Alternatively, bios, yeah. reach out to Dell and they'll probably be able to steer you right as well. Uh, any integration with Simpty 2110 in the future? Yeah, VMix works yep. with Simpty 2110, but it's just a matter of being able to have that uh, NMOS configuration on your, on your system yeah. and being able to route the video into we, VMix. We did, um, a, we did a live stream a few months ago uh, via a Simpty 2110 setup. We were using Declan cards from Blackmagic Design. Uh, um, and yep. Yep, and and it worked quite well. It worked quite well. But uh, yeah. But the Simpty twenty one ten networking side of things is not something we can give you support on. You've got to learn how to do that yourself, and it is quite advanced. Uh, um, hey, yep. Cool. Sorry. Why does the yep. social title say NAB twenty twenty three? Oh, that's because I used an old social title. There you go. That's that's your <laughs> that's your answer. I was just being lazy. Um, uh, all good. <laughs> uh, YouTube HLS ingest. Um, not at this point in time. Feel free to uh, make a feature request or add your yep. plus one to the feature request yep. for that. Mm. Uh, okay. Let's see if we were going to. Uh, You're doing well. Yeah, I'm just trying just to smash through them. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Jan asks, HDR when? Uh, we're kind of taking the pulse on people that want HDR. Could you tell us your yep. full end-to-end -end workflow for HDR yep. uh, and reasons or what you're using it for? So um, I will say that at the that. show, I only had a few people ask about HDR, okay. um, which is interesting. I thought there would be a little bit more uptake. So um, yep. it, it's, yeah, it's anyway. something we're looking for. Yep. Uh, any 360 news uh, from the streaming front? Uh, not that I've seen. So uh, the much. yeah yeah uh, Insta360 link uh, sorry, let me stop. Insta360 the company, they've got the I think it's the X3 and X4. They just released the X4 um, for the show. Mm -hmm. um, the X3 can come in as a webcam and can be used in VMix as a 360 source. The X4 can't yet, but I've been told by Insta360 that it is very likely to be a firmware update. So keep an eye out for the X4. It's got really high resolution, so it could potentially be a good 360 camera for vMix down the track, uh, but it isn't yet. I'm not quite sure what this one means, but uh, if it means if we're gonna be streaming on Spotify, uh, I'm not quite sure whether there's a process for that or whether you wanna add a Spotify input, mm. which wouldn't be available. Yeah. Uh, but I know that they do live video, I think, on Spotify. I did a little but, bit of a look um, into it, and I don't think we have a pathway yet to stream to Spotify. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why do all the lanyards have a VMix logo? Is because we we buy put, them. We put that on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we, so that's why we, they do. Yeah, uh, we do it all ourselves. No, they do it for us. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of looks like that's most of the, the questions main, that we have. Questions? Um, yep. Obviously, we didn't have a real great chance to advertise that this stream was on yeah, or on our website. Yeah, it's a bit of a last minute one. It's a bit hard. Yeah, there's a lot of working pieces when it comes to our live streams and updating things, and it's very difficult to do that remotely. And it's very difficult to do that with not great internet. Um, and, so yeah. and we have to build the show on the fly as we learn and find new things for NAB. So yes. it's 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 something that's a little tricky to put oh, together. Dear. But yeah. Uh, this okay. What was that's that? That's fun. Oh no, I've just realised. Oh, it, it, yeah. It's not plugged in. We're using Wi-Fi. Mm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's yeah. another thing we probably should have done. But yeah. I don't think it's dropped anything yet. Well, I we're going well. I, I think so. Going fine, we picked but, the right streaming uh, resolution and yeah. frame rate, I think, except yeah. for the 27.97. We went, we went low enough, uh, I think, definitely. Um, Scott's back in Colorado. He dropped by oh, yeah. and said g'day. I always, yes, yeah. Thank you for coming by, Scott. And thanks for coming by again with the streaming idiots. Uh, all the streaming idiots, little shout out to all you guys. Thanks for coming by on Sunday. It was cool to meet some of you. Um, I hadn't met most of you, so that was that was fun. So we're not sure about the um, with this 2110 uh, like smart IP video hub. We haven't seen it. We've seen pictures of it. We don't yep. know whether it's out yet, but yeah. maybe it is. Um, yeah, so, we yeah. actually haven't had a chance to go over and have a good chat to them. Um, there's supposed to be a smart video hub that does all of the NMOS routing and everything for you, or at least that's how it reads in the marketing material. Let us know in the chat if you know that it does do that. If it sets up an NMOS registry on like uh, ISO4 and does all of the routing via ISO5, if it can do that stuff, then that is going to make your Simpty 2110 networks a little bit more user friendly for, you know, just the common man that's used to regular networks and not these very specialized ones. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think that will about do us for today, but we'll yep. stick around and answer some more questions and stuff in the, uh, the post show. Yeah. Uh, but We'll probably wrap that up for yep. our YouTube video. So thanks yep. for thanks for dropping by, yeah. those that managed to find it. And 
thanks for everybody here that was yes yes the huge crowd that's thank here. you um <laughs> But yeah, so that's it. Do we have an outro video? We do. Is there it's anything else you'd like to, to say before we go? Oh, I've just had a ball. I, I always enjoy these. I'm very, very worn out, but I've had such a good time. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah so yeah. thanks to everybody that stopped by to say hello. Mm. Appreciate it. I think we got rid of like 2,800 mouse pads or something. So yep. Yep. Quite Are we all out went, again? Today? Yeah. 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 We're all out, yeah. Every so. day we sell out by about lunchtime. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> thanks. Thanks to everybody that yep. said hello, and um, we'll uh, stream you later. Yeah. See ya.